Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, it's it's almost noon. It's almost noon. Welcome back to the Flop and Crappie channel. I'm Davis. Today, something I haven't done in a while. I was actually, so I don't know if I have video of this, but I missed the step from my casting deck to my regular deck, the step down. And I kind of like, I don't know, I jammed my hip or something. So I had to go to Walmart and it picked up some ibuprofen and a heating pad. And as I was there, of course, I'm at Walmart, you're gonna walk through the fishing section. So strolling through there, looking at the baits, and I look down at the bottom shelf, and there's this kit. Yes, the crappie fishing kit. So today's challenge is going to be, can I catch a crappie with a Walmart crappie fishing kit? Well, we're on the lake, and here is the crappie kit from Walmart. Let's open it up and see what we can use. Lots of goodies in here. Marbu jig, two of them. Oh, we got a chartreuse one. I'm thinking, thinking we're gonna go chartreuse marbu jig to start it off with. I'm gonna go to the double jig setup. A lot of you've been commenting on that video. I don't know, that video's apparently getting a, a lot of traction. So we're gonna go double jig, jig setup. I'm gonna go with the marbu jig to start off. And then we got some, we've got some regular tubes here. Got some curly tail tubes, but I'm, I already actually have this rigged up. They have these, I think these are 1 64th ounce weights. Little jig heads here. And they're not, they're not the greatest because it's a Walmart box, but they don't really have that hook to really keep that tube on. And then the tubes are actually hollow bodied tubes, which uh, they're cheap but I recommend super gluing them on. I don't have super glue, so I'm just going to hook them on and hope they stay. So there we go. That's gonna be jig number two. This is gonna be my top jig, and this guy is gonna be my bottom jig. This feels like a 1 16th ounce marble jig. What else we got in here? We got a beetle spin. I don't know if I'm gonna be using this much. Try that. Uh, just got some split shots, some regular Aberdeen hooks. Got the old, the old red and white bobber. There you go. What is this thing? What in the world is this? It's got to be like a tying tool kit, right? Also, I don't know what this is. These looks like some giant hooks for crappie fishing. I don't know. Those are, I mean, here's, I'll show you. Here's the 1 16th ounce marble jig compared to those hooks. Look at the size of those things. I don't know if this is the right box. All right, so that kit, that was a double minnow live bait rig setup. So it's got like these wire uh, leader things. I don't even know what you call those. It's just like a wire leader that sticks out. And then they have these two separate hooks. They're already tied off on some, feels like eight pound mono. I'm thinking you just loop them through and one hook would sit like this. You got a live bait rig there. And then your second live bait rig would be right there. And then you have two swivels. You got your uh, barrel swivel on top, barrel swivel or your clip, your clip swivel on top, your barrel swivel on bottom. So be a live bait rig like that. I just feel like these hooks are, these are looks like some big hooks for crappie. I don't know. Those looks like some pretty, pretty good size hooks there. But I do have live bait with me. So I might try that out later. But right now I do want to do the double jig setup the way I tie it on with the bar marbu jig and with the uh, regular jig tube that I have. So let's tie those up and start catching, see if we can catch a crappie. All right, so here we go. I'm using 11 foot ACC crappie sticks rod. Something I, I tend to use it in the summertime when I'm throwing slip bobbers. A lot of you saw that, but I haven't used it a whole lot for vertically jigging. You see me use that eight footer. It's probably by far my favorite, but this is that 11 footer. A lot of you seem to ask about the 10 and 11 foot just vertically jig rods or brush pile kind of just vertically jigging for them. And you probably troll with these as well, but I got the two jigs tied on about six inches apart here. Both the the loop knot. I will post the video or I'll link the video 
for the double jig setup, how I tie these on. You can watch that. See, a lot of people have commented on Facebook and Instagram saying they've, they've used this rig and it's, it's really worked for them. It's really worked well for them, so I encourage you to give it a try. Let's see if we can get these Walmart lures to work for us today. Yeah, I'm wearing uh, Carhartt bibs. It's a little cold. It's 39 degrees outside right now. Getting into mid-November. Hopefully these crappie bite. Oh, there's one. There we go. Oh, time. That's a pretty good size crappie right there. Got him on the, the hair jig. I was actually talking to a guy at the boat ramp and he said the only thing that worked for him were hair jigs. It's probably a nine and a half inch fish. It's better than what I have been catching. He was real close to the bottom. I'm maybe, I'm maybe two feet off the bottom right now, trying to just let this thing, I'm kind of drifting with the wind, so I'm barely tapping it off the bottom and raising it up. Let's see what he is. Yep, he's about a nine and a half inch fish. There we go, crappie number one. Well, the Walmart lure works so far. Let's see if we can catch one on that, that little black tube. I actually just want to see if I can catch a handful of these to cook them up. But yeah, the guy at the belt, belt ramp said that these hair jigs were working for him. These marabou jigs and these other hair jigs. He said he was using live minnows, he was throwing jigging wraps, and this is the only thing that worked for him. So I'm not surprised that that's what the crappie hit. I like these longer rods specifically for this because you can get out way away from the boat. I got 11 foot rod. I can get way out away from the boat. And I don't have to be casting or moving very much at all. Just barely bouncing these jigs. There's a fish. Got him on the black tube. Well, I think the uh, Walmart challenge is accomplished, but I actually want to use a bunch of different stuff in that box. So let's see if we can do it like a Walmart slam. I'm going to put on a different jig tube. This guy's a dink. Just a dink. I'm going to put on a different uh, colored jig tube here. I'm going to leave the hair jig on for now. What else do we want to use? Let's see what else is in this crappie jig setup. We've got red and chartreuse. Let's go with like a... Let's go with this black curly tail. Let's try that out. And then I do have some live bait and I, I want to try this double minnow setup. I don't think I've ever fished with that and a lot of people I've seen who use that use this longer style rod, like an 11, 10, 11 foot jig rod for that. So we're going to try that after we catch a fish on this curly tail. Got the curly tail all set up, looking nice and juicy. Let's see if we can catch a fish on this. All right, we move spots. I'm gonna to try to catch a fish on that black curly tail before I tie the minnow rig on. It looked like there was a bunch of fish on these brush piles here, so hopefully they're crappie, not little bluegill. Whoop. Just had a hit, just had a hit and I missed it. There he is, got him that time. Oh, it's on the marbu jig. All right, it's, uh, it's starting to rain pretty darn good today, but I tied this live minnow rig, double live minnow rig setup on. I think you probably could use some big tubes or something. The one thing it, that this kit did not have was a weight. So I actually uh, dug through the tackle box and grabbed a eighth ounce bell sinker. Eh, if I can focus, there we go. So the one thing I noticed, these pre-rigged or these pre-tied rigs, the, there's a lot of memory in these, in this monofilament. As you can see, it's like a, this bungees back up. I don't recommend it because it's, the memory on this monofilament is absolutely terrible. And they didn't include the weight, which I was kind of disappointed, but 
You'd think if they'd sell a kit, complete kit, they'd include a weight. I mean, they got split shots in here, but I'm not gonna use a split shot for this type of rig. They even have a hook sharpener, but they didn't include a weight. Look at that, they got a hook sharpener right there. But no weight for the minnow rig. Oh well. All right, let's throw some live bait on, see if we can catch a crappie and close this video out. Well, it's starting to rain pretty good here, so I'm gonna put the big camera away, but got some live bait. These hooks are giant compared to the crappie minnows that I have. I mean, look at the size of these hooks. And look at the size of that minnow. These hooks are giant. But I'm still gonna try it out, see if I can actually catch a pretty good sized crappie with these hooks. These these minnows look so small. I got one hooked up on the bottom one already. I am I wouldn't advise using this rig just because it, the memory on the monofilament is just it's terrible. But let's see if we can catch something. This would probably be a good trolling rig, but I'd recommend tying your own hooks to it. Got some brush piles right in front of me there. Let's see if we can get a crappie with one of the, with this ugly looking setup. Ugly. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. One decent one, nine and a half inch fish. Not a slab, but still caught some crappie. They there are some good good lures in here. So we got that beetle spin, which I uh, I use quite a bit during post spawn mode into the summer fishing. They got some hair jigs. Hair jigs work today. I caught, I think, two or three on a different brush pile setup. I caught one here off camera. But uh, the jig tubes, eh, I'm not a fan of these hollow bodies. They, they slide off the, the hooks way too easy, but it this kit was 10 bucks, so I don't know. I think you got about $10 worth of stuff in here. Probably throw that out. I still have no idea what this is. Comment below if you know what the heck this is. I think it's got to be like, it's got to be some sort of line tying thing. I, I don't know. It didn't come with instructions, so I've never seen it before. Came with a hook sharpener though. Got one of those. And of course, your stringer for all your slabs that you get. So I, I think this was a uh, successful challenge. No big fish, but did catch some crappie on the Walmart $10 kit. I think it was nine dollars and eighty-eight cents if I remember right. But yeah, you probably if you're gonna use that live minnow rig, that double live minnow rig, you probably want to tie on your own hooks. That the monofilament that that came with was just awful, so don't use that. But that's gonna wrap it up. I hope hope you enjoyed the video. Ten dollar Walmart kit. If you're new to crappie fishing, there's stuff in it that'll work. It'll catch fish, kind of like that one. So. Check it out, I'll link it below. Also, if you're interested in rods, I'm gonna link the ACC crappie sticks, that 11 foot jig rod that I was using in the description below. Appreciate you watching as always. Be sure to like and share the video. We'll see ya.